Do you have a single receptacle or an outlet like this and you want to change it out to a double receptacle but you don't want to go through all that trouble on taking out the single gang J box and replacing it with a double gang J box for this to fit? Well, stay tuned, I got a solution for you. Hey there friends, welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. Before we get on to this video, quick disclaimer, make sure you turn off the power from your circuit breaker before doing any type of electrical work. Make sure that you're in compliance with your local electrical codes. Each area is different. And if you're unsure and unconfident with doing any type of electrical work, please hire a certified qualified electrician. With that being said, my full disclaimer is in the description down below. Let's get into today's video. I'm gonna be showing two methods on how to do this. Let's get into the first method. First method, I'm gonna be taking out the cover plate first using my insulated screwdriver by Klein Tools. They have a Phillips head and you can switch it over to a flat head as well. If you don't want to go all that trouble, you can use this automatic black and decker which you can interchange the bit into a flat head or a Phillips head. So if you're interested on any tools and materials that I use within this video, I'll leave all the links on the description down below. So now you have the single outlet, but your main goal is to change it out into a double outlet like this, but you don't want to take out the single gang J box, cut out all that drywall, take this single gang J box out and have to replace it with a double gang J box. Well, there is a solution for that. And the easiest way to do it is this Leviton product right here. And this is a double all in one. Let me show you how to install this. Working with any electrical, make sure you turn off the power from your circuit breaker, but you want to double check everything with this voltage tester. Okay, insert it right there. Now, I love using this Black & Decker automatic screwdriver because it's just fast. This is not just an ordinary outlet. This is actually the Leviton Decor Edge. What's great about this outlet is that it's a speed outlet. It's kind of like your Wago 221s all in one outlet. I made a separate video on this. Make sure after you watch this video, check it out. I'll leave the link right here. One of the fastest one you can install in less than a minute. Again, that's a Leviton Decor Edge. Again, if you're interested on this, I'll leave also the link on the description down below. Check it out and try it out for yourself. Now, before we install this, let me show you some of its features. You have four outlets total. At the back, you have the hot and the neutral, hot and the neutral. Notice how it's both labeled for A and B. A is on labeled on this side and B on this side. And like any other outlets where you want to isolate one, say you're going to be installing a switch and you want to have one for an outlet, this one you can break out the tabs right here. So you can get just like a needle nose and start breaking out the tab here for A and you can break off the tab for B. Comparing this with a regular strip gauge, notice how longer you have to strip the wire compared to a regular residential outlet. So let me just address the elephant in the room and that's the thickness of this thing. This measures to about, it's about an inch and a quarter thick. So if you don't mind having that one inch and a quarter thick sticking out from your wall, then this is the product for you. But if not, then you can probably locate this somewhere where you don't really need to see it, say like behind the furniture. So it's totally up to you. Let's go and reuse the wires that we took out from the decor edge. Since this has a longer strip gauge, we'll need to strip more of the insulation off these wires in order for it to be in compliance. So let's measure it up. Now see the difference between the regular outlet strip versus this one? A lot longer. It's about the double the size of this one. Notice how these terminals have these little holes on the hot and the neutral. We're going to take the wire and stick it in through that hole and we're going to wrap it counterclockwise, but we're going to be tightening, the, tightening this on a clockwise position. You want to go and insert the B and if you're going to put a load, meaning that if you're going to go put another outlet in the, in the circuit, this is where you're going to be putting that load on A or vice versa. Stick it on the hole right there. Go in a counterclockwise, wrapping it around. And you can even turn the device like that. Now you want to hold the wire down while you tighten this so that it doesn't move. We'll try to tighten this terminal screw. 
So now that both are tightened down, what you can do to make a shepherd's hook onto the ground wire is use this volt claw. This volt claw is actually my go-to tool. It has so many functions. You can use this to push in the wire inside the electrical box because sometimes these are very deep and your fingers don't have enough space or you don't want to damage your fingers trying to push all that wire in. This will be a good helper for that. It also tightens down any wire nuts and it, you can manipulate any wire inside that electrical box. Shepherd's hook. There you go. So the hard part's done, all the wiring's complete. If you want to add another electrical outlet within this circuit, just put another wire through this J box and put it onto the A for the load, and you can have that all connected up. So in order for you to install this, there is a punch out on the middle. So what you can do is you can take your regular screwdriver and poke right in the middle and it'll punch right out like that. Another quick note friends, if you want to apply this into a metal box like this, these have these two screws at the edge and they are compatible with this as well. There's a knockout on both sides so you can install this on these metal boxes as well. The edge, it touches the wall really nice and snug, really nice, so you don't have that ugly gap in there. Now, so there you have it, very easy to install. Now you just change your single into a double. Now Leviton does offer this product in two types. There's one residential one where we just installed, and they offer the hospital grade one, just like this, where it says right here, hospital grade. So the only difference with the hospital grade is that it's made for heavy duty and made into a higher standard rather than this one, but both of them, you only need the residential one for home use. But I just wanted to let you know that they offer into two types. So if you're both interested on these two products, I'll leave the link on the description down below. Again, I'm not sponsored by Leviton. I bought these two with my own money to show you friends on how to install it. Let me show you method two, which is a lot more easier and straightforward. Now let me show you method number two and it's a lot easier. If you don't want to go through all that wiring, all you have to do is you can apply this product right here. This is by Quinn Liaf. I think that's how you pronounce this product. But it comes with five outlets, three USB and one USB-C port. And when you open it, it's just like this one. It comes with five, two on each side and one in the middle. You got three USB and one USB-C which is pretty awesome. And it does come with this really long screw right here. And let me show you how to install this by using this long screw. So unfortunately, this is not compatible with every outlet. If your outlet looks like this and it doesn't have a metal screw in the middle, this will not be compatible because it requires that screw to go and screw onto that middle part of this outlet. You can take this. Maybe if you want, you can leave the cover plate on like so and maybe put this on top of the cover plate but it will leave you a gap on the side very careful don't touch the inside of there turn off the power from your circuit breaker just to be safe and then you can insert it like this and with this given long screw take this in the middle and then just screw that right onto the middle of the outlet it's a small gap at the edge right there which is fine but it's a lot better than if you had a cover plate, it's, it's gonna be a bigger gap. So here is the model. It's a rating for 15 amps, 125 volts, 60 hertz, 1875 watts. It is UL standard certified. If you're interested on this one too, I'll leave the link on the description down below. So there you have it friends, whether you go to method number one or method number two, it's totally up to you. Leave me a comment in the description down below which one you prefer and which one you already have at your home. And if you have any suggestions or advice on any other types of products out there that will greatly help increase the number of outlets onto the circuit. Again friends, if you found big value to this video, please hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe and notification bell, and I'll see you friends on the next video.